ladies you really need to be taking care of yourself i know this video a lot of you are going to be saying are you a doctor are you a this they say experience is the best teacher and people that have recommended this rem uh, remedy for they are also sharing testimony are you having issues we'll call it yeast infection are you having issue with yeast infection it is not a big deal is it's a common disease that women have okay it's a common disease that you have and most of all this thing is, is because of uncleanness that happened to you too much of sweat sweating and whatever and you don't wash your your view very well so today i will be teaching you how to totally treat your yeast infection apart from maybe some of you take drugs and it's not working for you properly but how to do it with these herbs is the best now what do you do i'm going to be teaching you how to make your tea for to get total rid of yeast infection some of you uh, there's a lady that said oh well, how do i treat this a lot of mickey smelly stuff inching and whatever is coming out i'm going to copy the video the the comment from my chat with her and bring it here so this i think she, uh, uh, she's here i don't know but i'm going to try and get that that so this is what you do you take some clove clove okay this is clove i told you people clove have a lot of benefits take some clove take some garlic wash this one wash it with a little bit of salt because this one might have a little bit of bacteria because of the processes or where it came from so put them in the water to stay for like three three to five minutes use salt to rinse it just put salt inside rinse it just to that salt to keep the bacteria you can put salt inside and soak it for two to three minutes then after that rinse out the water and soak your clove soak your clove take uh take like uh, if you are drink, going to drink it today take like two or three cloves uh, peel it scrunch it pound it to get pound it very well and mix it with the clove water when you mix it with the clove water you boil them together when you boil them together you that is cooking you cook it together then you sieve out the water cook it with a little uh, uh, seed of a uh, uh, black pepper this is black pepper seed you put some little black pepper in the seed inside the three together you boil them you boil the three together and sieve out the tea and drink it and drink it that morning now after drinking this video some people will think i want to use to make money but i want you to teach because i'm supposed to break it into two but i want to make it in one so this is the tea you will drink you will drink this tea okay to heal you from uh, the inside so people will tell you put it on your pad don't put it on your pad because uh, uh, it will grow out bacteria there don't put it in your pad as at raw no so after drinking that then you get your coconut oil you get baking powder I, i'm not baking powder is not close to me here get baking powder get coconut oil okay mix coconut oil like one tablespoon or two tablespoon of baking powder and coconut oil mix it together leave it to ferment for a, a while then use it to wash it you use it as a soap okay to wash your v to wash use it as a soap you can put it in your pad baking powder and coconut oil you can put it on your pad and just wear it and leave for like uh, uh half an hour or 10, uh, 20 minutes or no then after half an hour go to your bathroom i would prefer you put on your pad and wear it for like few minutes then go to the bathroom use warm water and wash it okay use warm water and wash it sometimes most of the soap we use to wash the outside not the inside okay because it, it doesn't have hands it, that baking powder and the, uh, the coconut oil is to stop the inching as well use it to wash that part of it when you've done that then always do steaming i keep telling you people do steaming you can use to step that smelling this thing boil hot water put in the bucket squeeze lemon juice inside sit on top the inside ones both the one if you keep doing this one two to three times in a week you will not have anything that has to do with yeast infection do this and come and tell me what today this is three in one i put for you now because many of you are saying this thing and i feel for that particular lady that said uh, rushing up making whatever she has taken all of matter of things is not working this is going to work for you okay yeast infection even children do have yeast infection because of death that went into the lines and all of that so this is all you need 
okay make sure you listen to this video over and over again okay so the baking powder and the coconut oil you can use it to wash there like a soap but after using it to rub there for a while or you put it on your pad make sure you wash it with warm water because of the uh, uh, coconut oil and that coconut oil is okay i will advise you once in a while <laughs> To take your vaseline to put there so that if you use vaseline there vaseline if you use vaseline to always rub your inner it will make it not to accumulate that heat that we store in bacteria. vaseline is good for that place the same way you use vaseline for your babies to make that place smell well not to affect not urine not to affect babies i don't know if you don't do it for your baby okay you do it as an adult for yourself okay when you are a, a, a hard-working person you hardly go and go use the toilet and all use vaseline original vaseline use it always to rub your feet as well okay a lot of us are we are always exposed to a lot of bacteria we are easy to catch all these bacteria and i hope this video will help a lot of you that have been on my dm about this uh um uh, uh when i start no coconut what they call it a uh, yeast infection again and all of that smelling v and all this video is going to help for you i love you all please do this video you do this thing only the first time you will do this three all this package i've just given yourself uh, you will notice that great deal get a vaseline original va petroleum vaseline original one get it as well or if you are the type that always gets sweat you are always you are working i don't know feed work and you are sweating use that before anything whether you're on your period use it to rub it vastly will help bacteria not to accumulate okay not to come directly to your skin i love you all see you guys again in my next video i know this is not my field but it's what me as a 45 years old i have experienced in the life in my life and things that i've used that have worked for me and people that have recommended it for that it has worked for okay so that is it i love you all and remain blessed please do all of this. I love you. Bye.